Oh, Mario! Web Crap of the Week, Season 2, Episode 11. And here we go once again with more crap for you that I have found on the week, on the web this week or the preceding weeks and compiled together in this extravaganza Web Crap of the Week. So let's go and have a look and see what I've come up with this week. So we'll first of all go to the big screen and then we'll click on to the first one and here it is. A real kiwi icon, the kiwi fruit, formerly known as the Chinese gooseberry in my early years, but now known as the kiwi or the kiwi fruit. And here we have two kiwis. Obviously someone has seen this excellent photo opportunity and put it together in a once-in-a-lifetime humorous collage. Really awesome. Well done, that person. Now, moving right along, many people don't know this, but it's possible to read something you don't agree with on the internet and simply move on with your life. You don't have to form a club, boycott something, Go on a march or a rampage, break some windows, hack someone's email, dump two tons of horse manure in their driveway. Just move on with your life. Easy, simple. Just remember that. A fine piece of advice. And now for from the animal kingdom, once again... One of these cartoons about animals and animation and human life or whatever it is called where we transpose. I mean, the fact that this person thinks that the cat is actually listening to them is humorous in itself at another level. You know, that's a car scratching post, right? Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Uh, obviously, a pole dancing cat that understands spoken English, pretty unique sort of character. Nonetheless, moving on. Haha, <laughs> this one here. Yes, be very concerned if I got something like this in the mail. Thank you for your order from our sex shop. You asked for the large red dildo as featured on our wall. Please select another product. That is our fire extinguisher. Hmm, I wonder what was going on in that person's mind. And coming up, I went by the house I grew up in and asked if I could go in and look around. They said no and slammed the door. My parents can be so rude. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Well, you might have seen it coming if you could read faster than I could, but. Yes, I put that in there. I didn't see that coming category. Uh-huh. All right. And this, for the viewers, or from the viewers, this one is actually from the viewers. Uh, this was sent in by a viewer or posted on their Facebook page, which, you know, that's the equivalent of it coming from a viewer. Did you know that if you put your ear up to a stranger's leg, you can hear them say, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yes, that would be so true. So, that's it. Used up all the web crap for this week. I'm out searching for more. Please send some in if you have it. But in the meantime, I'll be searching the net, trying to find more crap that I can bring to you. Thanks. Oh, and a big shout out to my grandson, Isaac. I understand that he watches Web Crap of the Week on a Saturday morning. Uh, I haven't met him yet, but I'm hoping to meet him soon. I hope he forms a good impression of his granddad, Mario. Cheers. See you.